What's up, guys? Corey, say what's up. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys, we're back. We're back and we're here. That's all I'm gonna tell you for now. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's me again. A few months later with a different hair color. And if you watched my last vlog, you would know that this is a frequent occurrence. It's also a frequent occurrence on this channel for future Taxi to have to explain the actions of past Taxi. I am here to give you both a little bit of context about this vlog and to give you a little history about the location as well. So once again, if you have seen my last vlog, you would know that vlog, the vlog before it, and this vlog were all filmed back in August. Do with that information what you will. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna suck less. Like I said, pinky promise. It's illegal to break a pinky promise. Everyone knows that. Besides the next few clips that you're about to see, which were taken the next day, all of this vlog, including the clips you just saw, were filmed technically the same day as the Six Flags video, which was at 3 a.m. on August 10th. Right after this, we went to film the charity video, which was also the last vlog. We were only in New Orleans for a day, so that's why all of this is all packed in here very quickly. <laughs> then the next day, I was going to try and get some drone shots with my, at the time, newly acquired drone. We tested a couple times before this, so we thought it would be fine. It was not. And it would just take off on its own in the middle of flying it. So for your viewing pleasure, I will include one complimentary clip of the drone crashing into a fence. So stay tuned for that. All that goes to say, the Pirate's Coat video, which is the one I posted first, was the one I filmed last because we ran into that water park literally on the side of the highway on the way back from New Orleans. I will once again be linking a video that has some excellent drone footage at the beginning so you can get a good scale of the building. It was posted by Nola Deej, who does a lot of really great New Orleans exploration, so y'all should definitely check out his channel. Now let's get into the history. As always, my notes are right here, so. That's where I'm looking. So Mercy Hospital was originally founded in 1924. It was Catholic affiliated as it was run by the Sisters of Mercy nuns. In 1994, it was acquired by Tenet Healthcare and the name was changed to Mercy Baptist Medical Center after the merge with Southern Baptist Hospital. In 1996, it was renamed one more time to the Lindy Boggs Medical Center, which is what it is currently known as. This was in honor of the Democratic Congresswoman and Ambassador Lindy Boggs, who was the first woman from Louisiana to be elected to the House of Representatives. Once again, we fast forward to Hurricane Katrina. When the storm when the storm hit, the building was full with reportedly around 145 staff and 120 patients and their families. During the storm itself, like many other buildings in the city, Lindy Boggs only sustained superficial damage. But the real problem was when the levees broke on Monday, August 29, 2005. Like Charity, Lindy Boggs also had their generators in the basement. So whenever it was flooded, the generators failed. On the first night with no power, 19 people died. The total reported death toll from Lindy Boggs was 45, making it one of the two hospitals in the city with the highest death toll. The other hospital being Memorial Medical Center. So the day after the storm, about 500 people from the surrounding neighborhoods would overrun the hospital. Unsure of if and when evacuations would even happen, the staff of the hospital started putting together their own evacuation. They located boats in a nearby garage and hotwired them. But luckily on Wednesday, which was two days after the storm, firefighters arrived before they put the plan into action. The evacuation method that was used drew a lot of criticism. Everybody was labeled A, B, or C. Group A could walk on their own. Group B had medical problems, but weren't critical. And group C was critical. Group A was evacuated first, not Group C, and got nearly 400 people out in total. So the patients left behind were those who were too ill to move and a handful of doctors who decided to stay. The next day, that handful of doctors used those boats that they'd hotwired and ferried people to a nearby post office that was being used as a heliport. So after the storm in October 2005, Tenet Healthcare closed both Lindy Boggs and Memorial Medical Center. In May 2007, Tenet sold Lindy Boggs to Victory Real Estate for $9.4 million. They had plans to demolish the building and build retail development. Victory obviously never demolished it, but in 2010, it was purchased by a Catholic nonprofit organization called St. Margaret's Daughters for $4.2 million. They spent $37 million to renovate what was the former medical office building, which became an 112 bed nursing facility called St. Margaret's at Mercy, which was opened in 2013. Here's an aerial of the building so you can see which part was renovated. St. Margaret's Daughters originally planned to open a cardiovascular hospital in the rest of the building. However, their partnership with LSU fell through, making this financially unfeasible. On June 8th, 2021, Lindy Boggs was sold to an architecture and construction firm called Woodward Design and Build. They have plans to turn the hospital into an elder care facility. As of recording this, there were two relatively recent articles published about Lindy Boggs. The first was on October 19th, 2022, stating that the project had stalled. Apparently, there were complications securing loans from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. The CEO of Woodward Design, Paul Flower, hopes to secure federal financing by mid-2023. The second of these recent articles was published on November 17th, in which Paul said he was applying for the 
of funding within the next couple weeks. If approved, the deal would take anywhere from eight to 11 months to go through, which would then be followed by two years of construction. So optimistically, they would be looking at a late 2025 opening. So I suppose we shall see what happens there. This concludes the history portion. So finally, I will shut up and let you enjoy the fun part. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're back at Lindy Boggs. It's a day later. I realized that I completely forgot to get any shots at the outside. So here we are. And here's coming around the front. I was just right over there for context. And here is our last corner. Right, everybody we're in room number one we don't know what this thing is we're gonna be quite honest with you it looks a little bit scary room number one, and the dice is on the one. Oh my goodness here I'm gonna roll it and okay. it's gonna be a say a number um five let's fucking go god damn it <laughs> Fuck Dustin. Who is Dustin? What did he do? It feels like it's a rainforest cafe in here. <laughs> Bringing the outdoors in. I love it. Oh boy. I'll get back to y'all after I <laughs> get up this. All right, so we just came from here. They are here, run. I don't know who they are, but I will not be running any them soon, I'll tell you that much. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is my favorite of the commandments. I love it. <laughs> All right. Where are you? <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Let's go up here. How do we get up there? Where's the... Hmm. We turned on the light, guys. I think the battery's gonna die soon because I couldn't find a charger. So... Hopefully it lasts. <laughs> oh my God. They brought back the guillotine. This way is the room we were just in, or the first one we were in, rather. And um, it's a little bit uh, swampy. <laughs> I just stepped in the spider web. Corey just stepped in the spider web, so he's been through a lot. Door. Oh man, it's seen better days. When you're grounded. <laughs> when your mom takes away your Xbox and she doesn't understand you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more time. <laughs> so that was where the basement was, a few stories down. And now we're on our way up, boys. Oh my goodness. Everything the light touches is your kingdom. <laughs> you need oh, I keep I keep my own like on me. I mean, but I I I, I would I'm down at more. If you or, no. No. Okay. Well, why would you <gasps> Corey. Tease.
Oh, wow, they have a pool. <laughs> All right, guys, we've made it back to ground level and I have discovered this. I do not know who Dustin is, but I would love to meet him. So we were just way up there on top of that. <gasps> he emerges. We were just up there. Y'all saw it, y'all were there. Here. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm glad they're not anti-vaxxers. That's good. I noticed they had a lot of vaccines going on at Plaza Tower, too. If you haven't seen the Plaza Tower vlog, go smash the like button. <laughs> All right, let's see if he gets any sex. If not, I'm going to report this for spam. This is false advertising. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I really wanted some sex. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to answer. Fuck up. Oh my goodness. Guys, we have realized we've made a dire mistake. We need to have worn like rain boots. Ah. <laughs> Since we can't get around from this side, we're going from this side. Hi. <laughs> We've encountered a friend, so that's cool. Ah, oh, shit. Big cock. <laughs> Fuck Dustin. I've seen like three of these so far. Damn. Oh my God, look, it's the sign. Bogs. <laughs> Where's Lindy? Where does Lindy? Reside. Oh, there's the stairs. We have been trying to locate the stairs. It's a big ass parking garage. All right, guys, 10 bucks and I'll jump. <laughs> Fell in love with an emo girl. Can you believe Machine Gun Kelly was here? Unfortunately, he was. What do you think happened to this place? <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly came through here. Yo, come here, what is this? He's struggling to resist the urge to hit it. No, guard, get away. Nothing good ever happens when you vape. Do you see this place? <laughs> it was partially a machine gun, Kelly. I'm partially vaping. <laughs> it appears we're at the actual hospital part of the hospital. And once again, we go up. It's much breezier and nicer up here. So this is 
a much needed improvement. Oh wow, look at this. It's a room with a view. Wow. And here's the skylights that are in that room below us. I don't know, probably like a cafeteria or something, I assume. We believe we have made it to the top floor, at least in this little section. Unfortunately, my little light started blinking which means it's going to die soon. So it's really a race against time, folks. See, all the carpet is still in up here. Ew. Oh my God, please, I'm sorry, it's a mess. I wasn't expecting company. Oh, are we at the top of the elevator? The water Dead. in the bottom. Oh my God. All right, let's back away from there. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Gay. Yo, it's a twisted tea. We found one. We found a twisted tea at Splash Town. Subtle plug. We found a twisted tea at the Juvie. Another subtle plug. And now we found a twisted tea here. The trifecta. The twisted trifecta. Eat shit. Eat shit. <laughs> Aw. I think that's a good sister. That's not hard. Aww. You <laughs> Freedom at last. Say hi. Ah. <laughs> Is there stairs over here anywhere? I'm not really sure, quite frankly. Hmm. Is that stairs? Yeah. Will you go out with me? Okay. <laughs> Do you like like me? Yes or no? <laughs> y'all we're conserving the battery life but look at this little area we came a couple floors down from the roof we were just on because honestly it's starting to get very confusing what we've covered and what we haven't it all kind of looks the same It appears I figured out how to get to the other building. This place kind of looks like it's been built out of Legos. Does that make sense? I'm not sure if that makes sense. I don't know where Corey went. He might've disappeared. I don't know, he is a magician. So that's really not out of the realm of possibility for him. Don't worry guys, Corey's back. He appeared in a cloud of smoke. Oh, this building is cooler. That's the analysis so far. Oh, it feels like we were just there, like two hours ago. Oh no, what happened here? So it appears that that's just the parking garage. So we did cover that section. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was a fun time. New vlogs coming soon. Current ones that are not uploaded months after the fact. Hopefully I can return to Lindy Boggs because if you do watch Nola Deej's video with the drone footage, you will notice we did not get into the basement. To my understanding, the water from Katrina has recently been pumped out of the basement, but not the sub-basement. So it's still standing there. And of course the basement has been sitting underwater for years. So it looks super cool. I'm very upset that we did not find the entrance. So one of these times I go to New Orleans, at some point I can return to film the basement because I for one am not a fan of missing cool shit. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the vlog regardless. Make sure to follow my Urbex Instagram account, of course, because that is where I post the disposable photos from these excursions. And I don't know why I've been doing this in the past couple videos because that just makes it more annoying to edit them in. But I suffer for my art. Okay, I'm tired of hearing myself talk. I'm sure y'all are too. As always, don't forget to smash that like button and I will see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>